Hello everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I've had a really fun time last week at the estate sales and I wanted to show you everything. Got a little, little bit of um, uh, Pyrex, got a little bit of Fenton and some useful stuff. Let's talk about that. Uh, Bath and Body Works soap a dollar. I think the soft soap was about a dollar. Bath and Body Works candle, probably a couple. Some of the stuff was just kind of grouped in and I don't even know how much I paid for some of it. Got some puzzles at a church rummage sale. They were two dollars a piece. So you know what I'll be doing when it gets really hot. Also went to an estate sale and we were, we, we went ahead and went to a couple of garage sales first. They turned out to be nothing. And we showed up, we thought, oh, we're gonna be late getting to this estate sale. But, um, and there was this Pyrex that we wanted. And we came up and there was this young kid, gracious, he could have been my, obviously he could be my kid, but he probably could have been my grandchild. <laughs> we said, hi, we're home. so we're after you. And it was like 45 minutes before the sale started and there was all this fabulous Pyrex. And um, we were only the second and third in line. And then finally the fourth and fifth showed up and they were after the same thing we were. But I peeked through the door it was one of those leaded glass front doors with wood and glass and there was a little clear panel and I could see in there and I could see the Pyrex so I knew which way we had to run so we just took off and grabbed everything so here is uh, we found this federal glass sunflower mold covered bowl and it was $16 which was probably a little bit more than we should have paid I, I got a baggie of jewelry and I should have put this back because I saw that they had a lot of um, uh, Avon, and but there was a ring in here that I thought might be good. Mm, no. Uh, this is a buck knife. And I got it open, and now I can't get it closed. So there you go. Got a little brass cam, and I think that was two. Uh, the brass camel, I think, was about a dollar. I'm not sure how much all these belt buckles were. This one is uh, a really neat old coin one. And I'm gonna have to look at all these different coins and figure out what I've got. But that is a really neat belt buckle for probably just a couple of dollars. Here's one, 1965, some kind of half penny something or other. Here's one with a horse on it. These go really well at my garage sale. Uh, we've got like a Murano-esque, I don't know if it's Chinese or what, but this is, um, it was uh, $1. This wonderful mid-century spaghetti bowl splatterware um, was six dollars, and everything I can see online, nobody has this stand, and it, it just makes it. Is that not the neatest thing? Look at it; it's all splatter all the way through, in fabulous shape, and it is glass. It's not plastic, so that was a really good deal. Uh, I've got this little Fenton opalescent, probably about a four-inch. Uh, vase and it was four dollars got this Fenton you can see it was ten dollars hobnail just like the other one uh, this one is I don't know if it's about seven inches tall so that was a really neat one I like that color this is what we were going for there was a set of four uh, pink gooseberry Cinderella bowls we got there they were eighty dollars we grabbed them we went to the corner we looked at them the first bowl the smallest the pattern was completely gone. It was useless. The second one was horrible condition too. Just terrible dishwasher damage. The fourth and fifth were okay, but for $80, it was not worth it. So we put them back and someone else brought them home. Um, but we also saw this. Oh, those were, um, so this was the Robin's Egg Blue um, set of three uh, bowls, mixing bowls. And they were $20, as you can see from there. Kind of got torn up when I tried to put some bu bubble wrap in between. And we also got this one. You know, and I thought that was, uh, that's Robin's Egg Blue. That's not turquoise. Um, I, that's even better. So that one is, um, that one was 16 as well. And that one's really good. Those are going for about $100. So we did really well there. And we went to another sale and I dug through this box of silverware. It was $30 for everything. And I looked through and these were not the same. And I started looking at them and go, wait a minute. So here's a really neat uh, 1924 and a 
course, it's Sterling. So that was a good one. Here's another one, Sterling. And it's a really pretty one. Too bad there weren't more of these. Uh, these were a dollar a piece. This is a coin silver. It's got an embrace. And, and I, has anybody ever heard of these people? Mac, uh, McCarty? Let's see, wait a minute. T. McCarty. I have searched and searched. I can find McCarty along with another maker, but I can't find McCarty, T. McCarty anywhere. And it is just, it's very, very thin. You can tell it's got a lot of age. Just the engraving there, you can tell it's older style of writing. A dollar a piece. They were fabulous. These were at a garage sale. These are little sterling silver earrings. These were 50 cents a piece. So these are multicolored stones along with these little hoops. This is a crucifix, sterling silver with a sterling silver chain that was a dollar. These chains were a dollar a piece, and I'm always looking for chains for all these. Um, um, necklaces that I have and these were two that I had bought at that $225 um, sale and this was what I just don't think that this is 100 I don't know that this is actually has any silver content that's what it's got on the back I went ahead and got it because I thought it was neat what do y'all think can you see that just in case, you know, I just can't see worth anything until I look over the top of my glasses. That's what it looks like. And I just thought this was pretty. It is not anything in particular. So that's what I have found. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything. And uh, we are going to have so much fun with these. I have an appointment to go to an estate sale on Thursday to have a look. And then who knows what else I'll find this week. Take care and thanks so much. Bye-bye.